Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to see another way of how we can bypass file upload restrictions to upload malicious file on the web application. So before going into this video, as always, if you haven't checked out my previous one in which I have shown you that how we can bypass file uploads using null byte injection technique, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And now with that being said, let's get started. So for this uh, demonstration, I have created another lab, which I'm just going to start right now. Just let me open my command prompt right over here. Just go to file uploads and just type index of yes. Uh, I think it's already running. Yes, it's running. Good. So let's visit this lab in our browser. Let's see how we can bypass it. Right. So we have this lab at localhost here it is this is the file upload challenge and now our main goal over here is to upload a file which is not an image file right so for the demonstration i'm going to upload a txt file instead of uh, the png or any malicious file right so normally this application is allowing us to upload only png files and we are going to see that how we can upload uh, some other files apart from png file in this video so let me just open my verb suit over here this just wait for a few seconds start it out no cancel here it is let me just turn off turn on the intercept and Let's play with the request for a while to understand if we can bypass it. Let's upload this. Let's send this to the repeater. Let's forward this. And as you can see, it is showing that the file has been uploaded without a doubt. And let's check it out. There's this particular request. Right. So let's try to do .txt for example. And let's see whether it is allowing us to upload a txt file or not. So as you can see, it's showing that try again. Let's try to do something like this dot png dot txt. Let's try to see if it is allowing us to do that. So again, is showing try again. Let's try to do some basic bypasses. So we have content type image JPEG. So uh, as you can see over here, so it is checking the extension file, right? Because the file type is the content of the file is uh, an image file, right? So this is a PNG file over here, but since it is not allowing us to upload a files, which means that it is looking for the last txt file, right? Since this extension is txt, it is not allowing us to upload the file. So what we can do in this type of cases, right? So we are going to use a technique known as race condition to upload a malicious file. And for example, we are going to upload the txt file using the race condition technique, right? Let's try to understand how we can do that. So let's, uh, create a new text file so let me just open my command prompt right we know that only png files are allowed to upload right so let's try to let's go to desktop let's create a new file let's say test let's go inside the test all right now let's try to create a file touch testing dot or let's say uh, demo dot text right and in this file let's type anything for example uh this is be practical right now let's try to upload this file first to see if it is getting uploaded by the application not once again so let's do this let's go to the locations computer let's go to home desktop let's go to test not this one test and uh, let's upload this let's try to intercept the request click on upload here it is as you can see this is a text file let's send this to repeater let's forward this as you can see right over here it is saying that try again right so obviously for obvious reason it is not allowing us to upload a text file right yes Let's try to see how we can bypass it using the race condition technique, right? So sometimes it may happen that the application is actually up, uh, uploading this file, right? And after uploading the file, it, it is checking for the extension type, right? In that case, 
the file will be there on the server for a very little amount of right and in that time if we were able to hit on that particular endpoint where it is getting saved we will be able to upload the file or access the uploaded file right in that case it is a txt file so if the application is vulnerable to a uh, race condition vulnerability then we may be able to do or hit that endpoint uh, if we try for a million times right so if you are if you're hitting for the endpoint for a, let's say a million times then we will be able to get the one request on which the uh, application will be able to uh, visit or the application will be able to render the file for us right so let's try to see how we can do that so for that i am going to create an a, a program basically but first of all let's try to understand where this file is lying right so let's try to upload this over here so let's try to change this to uh let's say ayas.png right let's upload it as, as you can see it is showing uploaded let's try to go to uploads and let's see if ayas.png and as you can see here it is right so we have this uh right over here let's go back and now we know that where is the upload files are going right where the upload files are going on so now we have the endpoint right so if the application allows uh, to uh, upload the txt file then it will be stored in something like this right test.txt currently as you can see there is nothing over here right so let's see how we can do the rate limit technique so for that i'm going to create a python program let's say this dot py or let's say demo dot py right let's import request which will handle the request and response which will communicate to the server right let me create a function and let's import threading as well import threading right so we are going to run the request parallelly so let's create a quick function that will just send the request to the loaded file say local host we know that the the file is getting uploaded in the uploads endpoint right so our file name will be since we are uploading uh what we're uploading is we're uploading demo.txt i'm gonna go with demo.txt right then we are going to print the response dot content or uh, let's do response dot text right that's it that's all we're going to do and now what we can do right over here is we can create an infinite loop right in that infinite loop i'm going to declare a list so let's say l1 goes to an empty list and in that list i'm going to append a threading dot thread so i'm basically starting a new thread and in each thread this function will, will get called right that's it that's all we are going to do so basically what this code is doing so this is the function and this function will do nothing it will just send the request to this particular endpoint and it will capture the response and it will print out the response for us right using this print response or text i have created a list in which i am going to store all the threads and i will start those threads so all these threads will keep uh, hitting the local host that uploads at demo.txt right and once we upload the file so if the file is actually getting uploaded so before the server deletes that file we will accept that file through this particular program right let's see whether it is working or not. save it right over here right and let's store the uh, output in some file so i'm going to run this python 3 demo.py right we're gonna use pipe so we can redirect all the output and we're gonna go with t minus a and let's say output dot txt right let's hit enter and let's see what happens as you can see we are getting that cannot get upload demo.txt right let's try to see if we upload this file right now what will happen so we have demo.txt send this as you can see it is showing try again let's send this multiple times so we're going to do this few times and that's it right we have done this let's stop this for now 
and now here it is here is the output.txt file you can just scat the output.txt right as you can see we have a lot of data over here right? we have a bunch of data right over here but how we can identify whether the file we were able to access that demo.txt or not right because from here you may be thinking that the file was not uploaded right so let's try to see how we can do it so we know that the demo.txt contained uh let me just demo.txt it contained this is b practical right let's try to find this string in this output.txt so if this string is present in output.txt which means that we were able to access that file on the server right let's try to see this cat output.txt uh to grep grep minus a and let's paste it out right let's hit enter and as you can see right over here we were successfully able to hit that particular endpoint and we were successfully able to get the rec the response right which means that this proves that this file is actually getting saved on the server for a very little amount of time and we were able to find it right so since it is a txt file so it doesn't hold any much impact but think of it that if you are uh, if you have uploaded a php file right so we may be able to get the uh, internal configuration of let's say etc slash password right we may be able to get some sensitive information using that particular file so even if we got the endpoint if we, even if we hit, hit the endpoint only once even if the file got deleted after hitting the endpoint once we still be able to do a bunch more impactful and dangerous stuff on that server right so this is an example of how we can look for file upload vulnerabilities through risk condition vulnerabilities i hope that you have understood now let's try to see that what is the vulnerable port what is the uh, malicious port that is actually allowing us to do this right let me just maximize it let's do index.js this is the file over here uh this is the port right over here from this line right so we have this post request on the uploads and upload endpoint as you can see we are hitting the upload right so see it is checking for the file it is doing all the stuffs right it is checking if the length is less than equals to two and if the uh, extension includes png right if it is then it is uh, sending the response that uploaded otherwise what it is doing it is saying try again and then it is going to delete the file right as you can see over here so the file got deleted but since even if the uh and even if the extension is in the black blacklist right still this uh method or this function is actually uploading the file on that particular server right so the file is getting uploaded after that it is going to be checked whether the extension contain dot png or not if it contains it then it is going to uh, allow the file to stay on the server otherwise it is it is deleting the file right so from here see the file is getting uploaded right over here and it is deleting at this line right so we have a quite amount of time on which we can continuously you know send the request and if we got the request if we got 200 okay which means we were able to bypass it, right so this is there's a very small duration of time over this upload and this delete which allowed us to do the risk condition vulnerability right i hope that you have understood it feel free to let me know if you have any doubts any issues i'll be happy to help you out so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button right if you have any doubts feel free to let me know your doubts in the comment section if you are interested in cyber security as well as web development then go ahead and join our telegram channel in which we will discuss a lot of cool stuff related to cyber security and web development right so go ahead and join it out the link is showing right over here as well as you can click on the link given in the description and also if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is hacking windows with python in which you are going to learn that how hackers create their own custom malware that can be used to bypass any antivirus that can execute system commands and that can do a bunch of cool stuff right and the second course which i am currently running is bug bounty the ultimate guide to account errors where you are going to learn that how we can find web applications misconfiguration that will allow us to take over any one account because of the website misconfigurations we are going to break the logic of web applications so both of these courses are fully practical uh, demonstrated so you can go ahead and check it out the link is also given in the description so i hope that once again you have understood it please let me know if you have any doubts and now with that being said Keep learning and 
Thanks for watching.